Let's speak about workhorse, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing link to prove that fact. And today we're going to be speaking about workhorse, but in particular, okay, we're going to be speaking about something that we don't really speak about enough on the channel when we do refer to workhorse, and that is going to be their horse fly delivery drone, and specifically the patents that come alongside with it, and why. They are so powerful and so important in regards to the future of Workhorse as a company and of course for us shareholders as a stock. Now before we get into it, I need to give a very special shout out to a stock Twitch user by the name of Sick of Winning. So you guys on the channel are all aware we have a user in my Discord group called K Marie. This is one of her friends from Stock Twits. He is now in the Discord as well. And they are two of the people who I have seen do some of the best due diligence I've ever seen anyone do on any company. Other times we look at a company, we might have a look at a few ACC filings, maybe we have a look at some exciting news. These guys really go the extra mile. And if you guys aren't aware of who Sick of Winning is, he's the guy who initially took the pictures of the Workhorse IKEA trucks. He's known about Workhorse a lot longer than most of us, been involved in them a lot longer than us, and he did some incredible DD recently. So this got some conversation going on stock tweets, then we were speaking about it in the Discord group, and it really just got me thinking about how important the patents we have in regards to our drone technology may well be in the future. And in order to realize just that, we have this here, methods for parts delivery and pickup via an unmanned aerial vehicle. Now this is from the UPS. They have a method for picking up a parcel but legally, they can't deliver it. So that's what we want to speak about today. It's just something that I want to put back into people's minds because a lot of people lose sight of the horsefly drone in the midst of all the excitement of the orders coming from Pride Group, in the midst of the USPS contract coming up. But when I initially spoke with Steve Schrader on this channel, I believe it was our first interview, we spoke quite in depth about this horsefly drone and me and him shared similar thoughts that this could be just as big as the actual delivery vehicles themselves so right before we do get into the information my friends can i please ask you to hit that juicy like button drop me a comment down below let me know if you find this video useful and please my friend do subscribe if you're new around here join the family of investors baby why not it's free and also if you are interested in joining that private discord group that's the first link in the description we have a community of over 900 investors in there you get access to all of my buy and sell alerts we have a workhorse chat and we have two of the greatest workhorse due diligence people in there right now. You get access to over 50 private channels as well, my friends. So much juicy information in there. And if you want four free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description. You have to sign up, deposit $100, and then you get some free money. It's really easy. Two of those stocks can be valued up to $3,700. So every workhorse investor, I assume, will know about the horse flight, but they won't really know about its full potential. They, a lot of people just look at this as a little side project, but it really could be so, so much more. So essentially these are drones, okay, full autonomous drones. They pick up a package, bring it where it needs to go and come and land back on the vehicle. So think about it. If you're somebody who's in last mile delivery, you can go left, drop off a package. This drone can go right, drop off a package. And it is incredibly cheap to do. I mean, incredibly. The margins are immense, my friends. And if you go through their investor presentation, the horsefly drone is one of the first things the company actually speaks about. A proprietary unmanned aerial system designed for the package delivery market. And you can see here, it reduces the per package last mile cost by over 95%, about four cents per mile versus $1 for a gas vehicle. And again, when I spoke to Steve Schrader about this, I believe he said it could be closer to two or three cents per mile. So even better than a 95% cost saving. Just think about that for a moment, my friends. Think about the amount of hours it's going to save, how much money that's going to save, and it just saves raw value as well. And you may remember that recently the FAA established new drone flying permissions. The new rules are hailed as an improvement to safety, security, and accountability. One of the big things comes here, flying over people and moving vehicles. And essentially it just got more forgiving in regards to drones, which may well speed up the process of workers being able to use these commercially. But here's one of the big things we have to speak about, okay? So again, you'll see Sick of Winning on Stock Twitch posted this. We own the patent for drone delivery. UPS just got one for parcel pickup, but they can't deliver unless they pay us. They literally can pick up a parcel, but they cannot deliver it. And you will see that if you go over here, methods for parcel delivery and pickup via an unmanned aerial vehicle. And you will see here what is claimed is a method for picking up a parcel via an unmanned aerial vehicle. They can pick it up, but they can't deliver it. That's the technology and the intellectual property 
that Workhorse has, and this is very valuable, my friends. Back in the day, okay, Workhorse got loans backed against this IP. That's how valuable it is. And Workhorse have had these patents for a few years at this stage, my friends. And I really don't think this is something we can afford to overlook, as people very often do. But just think about the potential, my friends. Let's bring it back to the numbers. Let's bring it back to the fact that Workhorse is a business. They own the rights, they own the patents to this incredible technology that could literally change the way the entirety of the last mile delivery world works. It's a much more efficient, much cheaper way. From a business point of view, it doesn't get much better than that at the end of the day, does it? If you can make your business more efficient and more cost effective, that is a win-win, that is perfect every single time. So yes, it's incredible to know we have a big backlog now. We have Pride, we have Pritchard, we have the UPS. We're coming up on a 10,000 vehicle backlog, my friends. But this is going to be one of those long-term catalysts. This could literally change the game. If the UPS wants to use something like this, they're going to have to pay Workhorse. They will literally have to pay Workhorse for this technology, as will pretty much everyone else because they have the patents to do this, to pick up that parcel, bring it where it needs to go, and come back. Now, this isn't something that's going to affect Workhorse's stock price for a considerable period of time, in my opinion. People aren't investing in Workhorse now because of the horse slide on. I mean, yes, the long-term investors, a lot of the people who were even buying into 3, 4s, and 5s were. But let's be completely honest, there's a lot of short-term investors in Workhorse. Now, I don't mean they're going to be out within a couple of weeks or within a month, but there's a lot of people looking towards that USPS contract. The horsefly is never going to affect them. But for us long-term investors, the people who are like me who plan on holding workhorse, USPS contract or not, for years, this is huge and is not something we can afford to forget about whatsoever. This is potentially one of the biggest things this company has going for them in the long term. It's one of the things that will set them apart from the competition. It could give them a very big competitive advantage down the line. And if you can be cost competitive and offer a unique selling point that nobody else is allowed to offer that can be the difference between securing big orders down the line or not hey guys so this is jack from the future so apologies for me being stuck on the screen but after recording this video the news came out that lowers time orders literally just broke through the 100,000 pre-order mark so i just wanted to include this in today's video i'll try and make an update one tomorrow but you see that chart right in front of you i expect us to go and test somewhere around that 28 dollar range soon Today seems to be a red market overall, aside from Neo. Lower time orders up a little bit pre-market, but I don't think this was the best day for the news to come out, so I don't expect the absolute biggest moves. But I did want to make you guys aware in case you aren't. Lower time orders at 100,000 pre-orders. Obviously, Workhorse has the stake in the company, so that's just another good catalyst for us, guys. But my friends, that was just a quick video I wanted to make on this. Again, a special, special shout-out to you, sick of winning. I'm sure you're going to watch this video. I cannot wait to do more due diligence with you in that Discord, baby. Keep killing it on stock tweets as well, my man. If you watch this video all the way till the end, you, my friend, are a true legend, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button, drop me a comment down below, and please, my friend, subscribe if you're new around here. And again, if you are interested in joining that private Discord group, I promise you won't regret it. So much juicy information in there. We're eating every single week, baby. If you want those free stocks on Weibo, that's the second link in the description, my friends. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you for another video very soon. Peace.